Saying goodbye to 2010 means saying hello to 2011. But what exactly are we ushering in with this new year? Will the economy grow weaker or bounce back? What will the landscape of cyberspace look like this time next year? And what will be the most unexpected things we should expect? Well, who better to ask than Gerald Salente with the Trends Research Institute joining us from Kingston, New York. And Gerald, you never shy about coming out and making predictions about what the American people should expect. Since I've known you, you've actually been right a lot of the time. And so once again, you've compiled a list, the top 11 trends of 2011. Let's just put up the first five. First wake-up call in 2011, people will fully recognize how grave economic conditions have become. Two, crack up. 2011, teetering economies will collapse, currency wars will ensue, trade barriers will be erected, economic unions will splinter. And three, screw the people. Authorities will intensify efforts to extract funds in order to meet fiscal obligations. Let me just stop there with this question. Who exactly, Gerald, will be getting screwed? And also, as a side question, what's it going to be, dollar or gold in 2011? Well, look what's happening now. You name the city. The transit fares have gone up, even though the housing market continues to decline, property taxes keep going up. So the people are hit getting hit on every level. Look, if you go five miles over the speed limit, you know, there's a cop waiting for you. But hey, you know, rob the people blind as these brokerages and banks are doing they get a slap on the wrist in easy time. So what they're going to do is they're going to make up the slack by going after the little people at every level, licensing fees, parking fees, you name it, they're going to squeeze every dollar out of the people. They call it austerity measures in Europe, don't they? And what about uh, the question about dollar or gold for this coming year? What do you think? Well, you go to our website, trendsjournal.com, and you go to our forecast page, and you will see that in 2001, we predicted the beginning of the gold bull run. Well, the bull is really going to run this year because the Federal Reserve keeps dumping that digital money that's not, it's not worth the paper. It's not printed on into the system. What's gold as we're speaking? 1000 $420 an ounce. Look for $2,000 an ounce not too far away. All right. Let's get back to your list. Number four, crime waves. No money, no job equals, well, short fuses and more crime. Number five, crackdown on liberty. Of course, in the name of getting tough on crime and protecting against terrorism, I know this year we saw some people kind of outraged at the new security measures at airports with the somewhat, I don't know, intrusive body scanners. Gerald, what will be next, and what will government officials say it's in the name of? Well, it's going to be in the name of terror. The United States, for example, just in the last week, killed about eh, 75 Pakistanis with CIA drones. You think they're angry and want to seek revenge? We're hearing terror warnings throughout the, over, around the world. Now we even have Walmarts as a rat for the Homeland Security Division to call them up and let them know if anything is untoward that they should know about. And they're talking now about expanding Homeland Terror Security in hotels and shopping malls. Big Brother will be watching you at every stroke of the keyboard, every step that you take. They're going to clamp down more and more as people continue to complain more and more about the injustices that are happening, particularly on the economic front. You know, as a Bronx boy, I know you can't tell by my accent, I always say that when people lose everything and they have nothing left to lose, they lose it. So as people keep losing it, the government will crack down even tighter. Let's keep moving on. Uh, I want to make sure we get to all these. Uh, you say we'll see new forms of alternative energy. You say there will be journalism 2.0. This trend of being able to get information from multiple sources will continue and will continue to change the way people get information. Uh, number eight, you have cyber wars. What is this all about? Well, it's happening already. Look what they did. They, they 
almost decommission the Iranian nuclear facilities with their cyber worms. We're going to see more and more cyber attacks, just like we saw with WikiLeaks, which is one of the examples of 2.0. But on the other hand, when they tried to shut down WikiLeaks, well, the WikiLeaks people supporters shut down PayPal, and they tried to take down MasterCard and Visa in retribution for them not taking their money to support WikiLeaks. We're going to see worldwide cy cybercrime. It's going to be the new type of warfare for the 21st century. And by the way, those people that can't find jobs and want a good career, become a cyber sleuth, a cyber detective, really hone your skills in fighting cyber wars and cyber attacks, and you have a great future because this is not going to end. Let's just finish out your list. Uh, you say number nine, youth of the world unite. You say a lot of people who graduate from college, degree in hand, are going to get together because they're mad as hell, because they can't get jobs. And then finally, the end of the world. Of course, we've all known those people who have always believed that 2012 will be the end of time. But real quick, Gerald, I want to get to your number 11, and that is the mystery. What is the mystery trend? I know you said you're going to reveal this uh, sometime in January, but can you at least give us a hint? Yes, I can give you a hint. Know the hand that feeds you. Well, that was, <laughs> well, you heard it here first. Gerald Salente, Director of Trends Research Institute.